You know, the knock on electric cars is that they have no juice. Well, you tell me. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Uh, you proved your point. There's something jarring about a fully electric car that goes zero to 60 in just eight seconds. But Adan Ofer, an Israeli business tycoon, is trying to sell his vision, replacing 80% of Israeli cars with electric vehicles, like this converted Renault, in the next 10 years. You can change over the entire country very quickly and reduce your dependency on foreign oil very quickly and reduce the cost of transportation at the same time. You can't find a better argument than that. Ofer's new venture, called A Better Place, aims to answer the doubts plaguing electric cars since their debut a decade ago. Too small? His partner, Renault-Nissan, will produce cars from their existing models. Weak battery? The new cars go 120 miles before charging. And too few places to recharge? Ofer plans to open hundreds of battery changing stations across Israel over the next several years. You will go into a, a station, then you will change battery. It will take you five minutes and off you go. Not everyone is convinced. Toyota's hybrids are finally posting significant sales. One expert recently called Ofer's plan more like a pipe dream than a viable high volume opportunity. But the project has raised $200 million in investor capital since CEO Shai Agassi unveiled it on Squawk Box last fall. It's a transportation energy company that sets the, the, the new foundation for us to, to make electric cars cheaper to own, faster, uh, to drive and no emissions. And as for Ofer, he's already made his fortune in, of all things, oil refining and fertilizer. His company stock, which lists on the Tel Aviv exchange, has quadrupled in three years. By going electric, he says, he's simply moving on to the next big thing. Eventually we're going to run out of oil. That's a fact. When it will happen, it could take 50 years, it could take 40 years, I don't know. But we're going to run out of oil. So we have to think of the next mode of transportation and it's not going to be an oil.